Today also brings with it some benchmarks for an engineering sample of the upcoming cable leg, that being of course the i5-7600. Now, of course, it's not even out yet, but apparently several Chinese websites have managed to get their mitts on it, and now we have some benchmarks for this particular processor. Now, as I did say at the start of the video, this is an engineering sample, so final results could be better depending on overall optimization. Now, first of which, we do have the i5-7600K, which is the fastest i5 chip in the KB Lake lineup. It has a quad-core, non-multi-threaded design, of course it is, based on the latest 14NM+, which of course has improved efficiency and performances on the up existing 14nm FinFET. The clock speeds are rated at 3.8 GHz base and 4.2 GHz boost and it does pack 6 MB of L3 cache and a TDP of 91 watts. Now we've got all that out of the way we have Skylake pitted against Kaby Lake thanks to the guys over at X Preview. Now there are two parts of these benchmarks, the first is a comparison between 7600K and 6600K, while the second is 6700K versus 7600K. So, with all that in mind, let us take a look. Now both of these were tested on stock configurations and clock speeds, and the 7600K did best Skylake in all possible ways, and the end result was 6.14% faster single thread performance and 9.12 faster multi-thread performance and in actual gaming the 7600k was about four percent faster and if you look on the screen right about now there will be some benchmarks numbers from x preview now with all that in mind the results for skylake versus KB lake should be no surprise as of course the i7-6700K is a multi-threaded processor and the synthetic benchmarks do show big games with a multi-threaded chips. So we are looking at 18% slower performance in multi-threaded but 2% faster performance in single-threaded CPU benchmarks. The 7600K is of course clocked at the same frequency as the 6700K and it does deliver slightly better performance due to IPC and process improvements. And in gaming, the chip did see a 6% drop in performance compared to the 6700K. And if you're interested, the games that saw the biggest drop were GTA 5 and in performance, the 3D Mark Fire Strike performance test. Now, of course, both of these are pretty taxing on the CPU and do take advantage of multi threading. So, to be honest, the TLDR of all of that is that KB Lake is shaping up exactly as we expected. Now, of course, again, these are engineering samples, so do keep in mind that the final version may be slightly better, and of course, we're going to be seeing these launch at CES next year, so it's going to be a while before we know exactly what this chip is capable of, but it is giving us a good indication that... KB Lake is shaping up exactly as we thought. So, with all that it said, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.